As you are aware, just a couple days ago, the Islamic regime in Iran attacked Israel using a couple hundreds of missiles and drones. And as you know, over 99% of them were intercepted by the uh, Iron Dome and the coalition forces in the area. I want to talk about a few things. First of all, the leadership style and the leader's decision impact the society, the economy, the people's daily life. And this war, which was just like uh, a few hours, uh, impacted a lot of things in the world. Even the stock market went down. And that is because of the decisions of the leaders in any country, any society. And we know that any decision by a leader can impact in daily life and everything in that country. Some people ask me if Israel will retaliate and what outcome we should expect if it's going to be the starting of World War III or not. This is just my prediction. This is just my opinion. I think Israel will retaliate. However, I think it will be limited to a few uh, uh, nuclear stations in Iran, a few uh, the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corp military bases, and maybe a few infrastructure here and there. I don't think it's going to be full-blown war uh, between Israel and Iran. Why? Because Iran, first of all, cannot stand the uh, Israeli uh, army uh, or like cannot stand against the United States or other countries. It's very interesting to know while the Israeli leaders and the uh, Israeli military uh, leaders and forces with the coalition forces were busy intercepting the missiles and drones from the Islamic regime in Iran. At the same time, <laughs> the, the leadership in Iran were, interestingly, were busy with the deception of people, of Iranian people, and uh, the uh, proxy groups. So this picture was uh, published by the Iranian state TV and some of the other state newspapers and publishers. And it went viral that uh, the Iranian missiles uh, destroyed Israel and just uh, uh, this is Google I put this picture in Google and this this came up so you can do it too uh, so look how viral this picture went and the uh, short video they were uh, showing that supposedly this is the missile from Iran and uh, destroyed Israel this fire actually is in Texas and it happened in March I'm, I'm gonna show you just momentarily a picture of that and uh, the comparison and some videos that the leadership in Iran <laughs> the Islamic regime leadership was busy to brainwash the kids and brainwash people and lie to people uh, about the attack. Let's see some of those pictures and videos. This top one is the picture that the Iranian state TV showed as the evidence of the missile attack on Israel and Israel was destroyed. And this is the real picture from March 1st, 2024 at 1.30 p.m. 
Uh, I don't know exactly is that central time or mountain time, uh, but this was picked up actually by some experts and showed actually the the actual video, which is the uh, forest fire in Texas. So this is one of the lies that the Islamic regime delivered to the Iranian people. Uh, well, Iranian people actually don't believe them, but to the supporters of the Islamic regime and the proxy groups in the other countries like Gaza, like Lebanon, Yemen, and other countries. Now, let's see uh, how the Iranian regime is preparing for the Israeli retaliation, which is very interesting to, to watch. Abbas, Israel, what did you do? پکوندی بشون؟ خب آیا میری بگو ببینم چیکار اسرائیلیا کردیم؟ خب تو بگو گو. سلام چیکار شی کردیم؟ کشتی میش. ابراهیمی. آری کلا. ایلیا زنی مسئولیا رو چیکار؟ سعی کنیم اسرائیل. You may think that with the possibility. of the retaliation from Israel against the Islamic regime. You think the Islamic regime is preparing for that attack or retaliation. However, as you see in this picture, the Islamic regime actually is preparing uh, to prevent or crack down the uprising from the Iranian people. Why? Because they know, first of all, they cannot stand um, against the Israeli attack or military uh, or United States or any other, uh, almost any other countries. And they know the attack from Israel will be limited to a few nuclear sites and uh, maybe a few military bases. So what they did in past couple of days, they moved the uh, missiles launch pads instead of preparing for the Israeli attack, they have besieged thousands of the Islamic Revolutionary Guards, morality police, and hatchet men to different places in Tehran. This is the main theater in Tehran. And uh, to different places in almost every large city in Iran uh, and every town in Iran because they are scared to death because of the protest and they know people are fed up and they they are ready to overthrow this government and they know people are ready to continue the revolution that they started a couple of years ago uh, in name of women life freedom and people are ready for that and the government will know about that. That's why they're sending thousands of the Islamic Revolutionary Guard and morality police and uh, everybody else, their hatchet men to different places uh, to prevent the protests and crack down if the protest happens. So it's very interesting and I'm gonna show you two short videos uh, about the atrocity of the morality police who are attacking uh, the ladies in Iran uh, with the excuse of not, uh, not having the proper hair cover, which is very weird for you here in the United States, but this is what the women in Iran are facing. Uh, but before showing you these two short videos, Please go ahead subscribe to my channel and uh, please go ahead um, share it with your friends, family members, 
uh, co-workers, neighbors, people in your community. I need 1000 subscribers for this channel so I can do live videos uh, and uh, on YouTube and uh, turn this into a podcast. So I, I will invite leaders from businesses, from uh, different fields like uh, in politics, like from different religions, from uh, different fields of life and uh, different professions. Uh, to talk to them and ask them questions about the leadership, not only in politics, in everything else. Because as you know, this channel is Leadership Impact and um, I will talk about different aspects of leadership. Please go ahead and help me out. Now let's see these two uh, uh, short videos. <laughs> 